When I'm developing any of my scripts, I like to keep things really, really simple. And I also like to check as I progress through the script to make sure everything is working. And that usually involves echoing out some value just to check that it is what it's supposed to be. Once I have that core logic done, I then like to prettify things by adding graphics, colors, fonts, etc. And I'm going to do a similar sort of thing with this Hangman game. So keep things really simple, get the core logic working, then add the graphics. So to start with, let's get rid of this echo hello world. And if you don't have that, obviously just create a new file in your preferred code editor. And the first thing is, well, Hangman is all about words. And we have the first player choosing the word, the second player is going to guess the letters in the word. In our particular case, the computer will be selecting the word for us, and then we'll try and guess it. Now to keep things really simple, I'm just going to define a single word. So the word is going to be equal to, uh, let's just have computer. So the word is computer. Now I know with that particular word, I need to know the length of the word. And the reason I need to know the length is because for each character, I need to have an underscore, those lines. So we need the word length. So let's define a variable called word length. And that is going to be equal to, well, how do we find the length of a word in PHP? Well, there is an inbuilt function called string length. So strlen for a string length. And what are we finding the length of? We're finding the length of the chosen word. Now, as I said, I'd like to echo out to check that everything is working. So the first thing I'm going to do to, to do here is to echo out the word length. Go across to my browser and refresh. And there we go. That's correct. It's got eight characters in the word computer. Now, I know for each of those letters, so for that length of eight, I need to replace each of those letters with an underscore. So we want to loop through eight times and do that. So now with my loops, you know, if you've taken my courses before, the way I like to approach loops is to say the following, and I'm very deliberate in the way I say this. So for something to be true, do something. Now the something to be true, we need a counter, and I usually use I, and I is gonna start at one. Now I is not just gonna to go to be equal to it, because it's, that word length will change. So I have to go to the actual word length. So go to the word length, and then we want to increment that, and we increment by saying plus plus. That just means increase it by one. So we're starting at one, we keep going until we hit the word length, and we just keep adding one until we hit the word length. And then in these curly braces, what are we doing? We're going to echo out that underscore. So there's the underscore. Now, if I echo out eight underscores together without a gap, it's just gonna complete one single line. I'll just show you that. So I'll go across to the browser and refresh. And now you can see I've just got one big line. I don't want that. So I want to have a gap in between. So I'll just pop a space in there and refresh. And there we go. We've got the, those eight underscores. I can now get rid of this echo word length. I don't need that. So I'll just comment out that by putting two forward slashes, go back and refresh. So that's a good start. We know what the word is. We've got the underscores to represent the word, and then we can continue with the logic. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.